Back when the project of Lake Conroe was first built back in 1970, one of the first neighborhoods to incorporate was the neighborhood of Seven Coves where we're standing today. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour through the community as well as talk about some of the pros and cons of living here. First pro, I live here. Of course, that could be a con depending on who you are. But anyway, let's take a look. What's up everyone, it's Jeff with Jeff West Properties, your host for the Conroe Living Channel, where we identify and celebrate everything that makes Conroe, Texas one of the fastest growing cities in America, as well as one of the best places to live. The community of Seven Coves sits about a third of the way up on Lake Conroe's eastern shore. It was named Seven Coves because it has coves and there are seven of them. And the person who named it wasn't feeling particularly creative that day. Homes here started being built in the early 1980s and building still continues today, with 618 of the 816 lots already built out. The architecture on these homes is widely varied. You've got everything from brick traditional, Victorian, to Mediterranean and contemporary. You've got entry level homes up to mansions. You've even got haunted houses. Actually, this house isn't haunted, it's really cool, but those trees are spooky. But the one style you find the most here, especially the closer you get to the shore, is the Cape Cod style home, which is pretty unique on Lake Conroe. Cape Cod homes tend to have steep pitched gabled roofs, sometimes with central chimneys, and mostly built with front porch balustrades or verandas. They'll often come painted in vibrant colors as well. They look more like something you'd find on the beachfront in New England than what you typically find in the South. Of course, the main reason people move out here is to live the lake life. If you're lucky enough, or wealthy enough, to have lakefront property, you can dock your boat right off your own shore. But for those living inland in the community, one of the greatest amenities of Seven Coves is the 288 slip marina. As well as the marina, you have community parks with playgrounds, a community pool, tennis courts with the ever-popular pickleball court, and the basketball courts. So if you're really good, you're gonna love it here because you could definitely beat this guy. Next to the marina and amenities complex, you have the Seven Coves Clubhouse that can be rented out for events. It features a full kitchen and a bridal suite. This is a really popular destination for weddings because can you imagine a more perfect backdrop? In the community, you also have the landing at Seven Coves, which is a popular vacation destination on the lake. Docked in the resort is the Southern Empress, a Mississippi-style paddle boat that's been on the waters of Lake Conroe for almost 40 years and is one of the most recognizable landmarks, except that it's not on land, it's on water. Watermark? Right off the coast of Seven Coves is a small island that acts as a bird sanctuary. Look at all those chickens! With all of the amenities and the lake as your background, living in Seven Coves is like living in a resort. Except that you have to mow your own lawn and do your own cooking and your own laundry. Living in Seven Coves is like working at a resort, but it's still awesome. All right, we are back in the Seven Coves studio, which is what I'm calling it because it's a Seven Coves video. And if you are watching this, you are very possibly either thinking of moving to the area or considering it as a possible place to land. So I wanted to give you the pros and cons of living in Seven Coves so that you either know what to expect or possibly what to avoid. Since I just gave you the old razzle-dazzle with the community tour, let's start with the negatives and then we'll finish up strong with the positives. One negative is that we have a lot more people in this community parking on the street for some reason. I don't know if it's because they use their garage for other purposes or they have more people of driving age living in each household, but it can get kind of annoying weaving in and out of uh, street traffic. Another downside is there's no golf. 
uh, like there is in some of the other communities. There's also no hiking trails. So if you're planning on exercising, jogging, walking your dogs, um, people out here just have to do that on the street. And with what I just mentioned about street parking, it can get a little bit challenging. The last negative is there ain't nothing out here. FM 830, which is also called Seven Coves Road, from Interstate 45 going west, dead ends at the neighborhood of Seven Coves. And between the interstate and here, there's nothing but housing communities and gas stations. Now, in the future, that is going to change. Uh, on Seven Coves Road, it is shared with another neighborhood called the Woodlands Hills, which is a community developed by the same company who developed the Woodlands, the Howard Hughes Corporation. In fact, they're trying to make it a smaller version of the Woodlands. Right now, it's just houses, but in the future, they have planned phases that are going to bring commercial districts in. So you're going to have doctor's offices and restaurants, things like that. But until then, until that's developed, you're basically going to have to do a little bit of traveling to do your shopping. Now for the positives. I'm comparing Seven Coves to some of the other popular lake communities. And one of the first pros is it's less expensive. You're going to be able to get more for your money here in Seven Coves. Prices start around $250,000 up to right around a million, which is basically the cap for this area. You're not going to find typically homes over 4,000 square feet in this neighborhood as opposed to some of the other lake communities where you've got 10, 15,000 square foot homes. There's a house on the market right now for under $700,000 that is lakefront property. And that's not something that you find very often on Lake Conroe in communities like this with all the amenities that they provide. The reason that Seven Coves is a little less expensive than the other places is because the neighborhood's a little bit older than some of the others, and it's zoned to Willis School Districts, which historically have not been as desirable as Conroe ISD and Montgomery ISD. Now, I say historically because the Willis School District is actually very highly rated, and it's getting better and better as more and more development happens out here and more and more people are moving to the area. As well as the community being less expensive, one of the other pros is that the HOA fees out here are significantly lower than some of the other lake communities. Right now in Seven Coves, it's $525 for the year, where as opposed to a community like Walden is $1,150, and in Bentwater, it's over $2,000. So that's just another reason that it's more economically favorable to live in this neighborhood. Finally, another pro about Seven Coves is it's a lot easier to get in and out of the neighborhood and a lot more accessible to other things. Like I said, FM 830, Seven Coves Road, uh, goes from I-45 and dead ends into the community, and there's only five miles in between that span. When you couple that with a community like Walden, a community like Bentwater, those are anywhere from 15 to 21 miles off of the freeway. Walden is off of Highway 105, which goes to the south of the lake towards Montgomery. Bentwater is off of FM 1097, which goes directly over the middle of the lake on the 1097 bridge. Both 105 and 1097 are nightmares right now because there's construction going on. I'm not sure when it's going to finish, but they're doing a lot of construction as more and more people move out to the west side of the lake, and it can be a real headache getting around there. Seven Coves is only five miles off of Interstate 45, which is the main artery between Dallas and Houston. And if you want to go shopping or to concerts, things like that, that you're going to find in Conroe to the Woodlands and even further south into the city of Houston, it is a lot more accessible than most of the other lake communities. Now, there may be a few pros and cons that I didn't mention in this video. So if you're familiar with the area and you think I left anything out, let me know in the comments. There's a lot more to learn about the city of Conroe, Willis, Montgomery, the greater Montgomery County area, as well as the greater Houston area. So if you're interested in learning more information, just pick up the phone, give me a call, send me an email or text. I'd be happy to answer your questions. I'm a relocation specialist who's helped people from all over the nation relocate to the Lone Star State. Yeah, that's pretty fun to say. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Conroe Living channel where you will find more property tours as well as information on restaurants, parks, bars, and everything else that makes the greater Montgomery County area one of the fastest growing in the nation. You could also check out this video.